we're on the road today and thrilled to be on the road here at the Shelter Island campus of the Perlman Music Program and honored to be in the presence of undisputedly the world's premier violin virtuoso and also in the company of his wife, Toby Perlman, who uh, was herself a Juilliard trained violinist. Did you two meet at Juilliard? No, we met at a summer music program, a little similar to the one that we now run um, up in the Adirondacks. Exactly 47, 48 years ago. Yes, that sounds right. We met on the Sunday of July 4th weekend. Oh, all right. Um, oh. And, yeah, right. He was 17 and I was 20. Oh, childhood sweetheart. Childhood sweetheart, yeah. And I know that there's a different perspective that goes on at the camp here, as we spoke about last year at the, at the Gala Maestro. There's, there's, and, and the students talked to me about as well, the sense of cooperation rather than competitiveness. Elaborate on that a little bit? Well, that's the philosophy of the campus, the lack of competitiveness. Uh, what we want is everybody to do their best. But we, as you said, we, we cherish the fact that people support each other. And that's really what this thing is all about, is support each other. And that in the, one of the best things that I can hear anybody say to me, uh, one, any of the student body, is didn't so-and-so or uh, play beautifully yesterday. You know, for me, that's, that's a very good sign that they're, they're sort of with that philosophy. And of course, Toby basically started, that, that's Toby's philosophy. It's my philosophy, but Toby is the boss here. She is the, she is the person with the ideas and the person who started this whole thing. I did. I suffered from competition, and I was one of those people who kind of wilted under pressure. I, I, I think it's important for the public to understand that we don't live in a fantasy world and we don't pretend that there's no competition in the real world, but the secret of the Perlman Music Program is its size. It's so small that we know what's going on under every child's fingernail. And that enables us to give them the kind of support that they need and deserve. Everybody here sees Everyone me. Everyone here sees you at some point. Of the Everybody day. sees me one on one uh, every week. Well, every the violinist. Week. The violinist. The violinist. Yes, right. the violinist. And then we have also a studio class, where everybody gets to to play for each other and so on. But uh, you know, I'm not. This is not a master class kind of a no. thing. This is a one on one. <laughs> I feel that for every um, word of criticism, uh, there is an equalizing word of praise. And I feel that criticizing is, uh, is essential, but done in a particular way that the student feels that you are giving them support and that you are not really on, that you are really on their side. From my own experience, I had, I had my sort of student career vis-a-vis -vis teachers, I had three teachers, basically, uh, who were actually my teacher. The first one who basically told me to do whatever she said, and if I didn't do it, it was my fault. Uh, the, then came, uh, and, and she was, uh, that, that was a style of teaching that when I was in Israel. And then when I arrived in the United States, I had two teachers. One of them basically was similar to my Israeli teacher, with uh, uh, Galamian, you know, who, was, who said, you know, whatever, if you if you do it, I tell you, it'll be fine, you know. If you don't do it, it won't be good. And then Dorothy Delay, who was the teacher that I actually least was used to, because I was always used to be told what to do, and she actually asked me what I thought <laughs> of what I was doing, and and I learned, and and it's funny because that's the way I teach, is the way she taught me, is to to engage the student in the process of, 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 of learning. And I assume in the process of that, you yourself, even though you're the teacher and the master and, and mentor, you're learning something along the way, aren't you, as a I'm, teacher? Uh, as a teacher, we all always learn, you know, and, and I always encourage my students, if they always have a, an opportunity to do some teaching, they should grab it. 
because there's no better teacher than the teacher. I'm sure the return on investment emotionally um, for both of you it must be tremendous. Fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, for me, the most important thing in music is to be able to play chamber music. Because with chamber music, again, you need to breathe because you're playing with other people. You have to breathe together. You have to, what does Mary say, live and die, breathe, live and die. Breathe and die. <laughs> so, you know, our, our, uh, you know, our uh, Mary Peckham, who's our chamber music uh, uh, guru here, you know, she does the coaching. And it's, and it's so important, you know, that for you to be a terrific musician, it's important for you to have experience of chamber music. And some of the people are actually, sometimes have chamber music here, and it's the first experience of chamber music in yeah. their, for them, yeah. What people don't realize is that there are performances here that the public can come to, correct? Well, a okay. certain ones. Not we did that this spring for the first time. And what we learned from that experience, we had a couple of um, concerts on Shelter Island, one at Ramshead Inn, one in East Hampton at the Jewish Center. And what we understand now, which we really didn't know before, people were hanging from the rafters. There are, each concert was packed to capacity. So we now understand that there is a public here in the winter who are hungry and craving music. I mean, it's that simple. So we're, going, we're hoping that this is something now that we'll be able to continue. Now, do, do you remember uh, the very, your very first performance in front of a substantial audience? Uh, yes. You do? Well, I don't know if it was the first performance, but I know that it was taped. Oh, okay. And it was, in, uh, it was in, the, in school. I think I was at that time eight years old or seven years old or something. And it was, you know, it was uh, in, in, my, uh, in, my, in the school, in the academy, in the conservatory. And that was the first time that they actually came up with the tape recorders. I never heard of that before. You know, <laughs> you're talking about 1958, uh, so it's 19, uh, no, no, 1940, so it was 1951 or 52, 53, something. Anyway. So, and then they said, oh, we recorded it, listen to this. And I listened to it and I cried for three days wow. because I was so disappointed in what it sounded like. So that was my first performance. <laughs> but obviously you plowed through that. Now, what people may not realize is that when that support for this music program does not end here uh, on Shelter Island, that there are winter programs and there are programs that you take abroad as well, correct? That's correct, right. And we're raising money every day constantly because this is an incredibly cost inefficient program. <laughs> Our ratio of faculty to student, fellow to student is huge support system that, and we have to support it. So it's, uh, it's tough, it's tough and you know we have this beautiful, beautiful campus but um, the, all the EastEnders understand about weather and, you know, every time it rains, I have a, every time it's windy, I have this nightmare that the, the roofs are blowing off the cabins. So, you know, we're constantly raising money. Yeah. What's the number one thing you would tell a parent as far as either by way of encouragement or don't do this with your child if they do have that sort of... I, I would say the following. I would say that there are certain givens Every child, or nearly every child, everywhere in the world, hates to practice. And they're right. Practicing is simply too hard. It's too hard for the child to do alone. The parent has to support the child and practice with the child. Yeah, in other words, just, just support. Nurture and support. Don't criticize, just... So it's true, on my show, you didn't like practicing either? Oh, me? I hated it. No, hated nurture it. and nurture and support is different than pushing. That's right. It's two different things. You know, pushing is not such a good idea. It will backfire. Well, thank you both for uh, giving us That's the right. time. We You're appreciate it. This is probably one of the premier music programs in the world, and it's right here on the east end of Long Island. And we thank you both for creating it. So what's the website? Thank you. What is the website? Wearehamptons.com. Your website? Yes. We have to give them the our Perlman website. The Perlman Music Program. www.perlmanmusicprogram.org. Program. 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 Org. Org. That's it. Not